Reverend Wanda Williams, your host, and I have Pastor Shirley Prosro, my co-host. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad to be back in the studio today and in your living room today. We praise God for you. We praise God for you tuning in and hearing what God has to say today. Yes. Always seeking God. His will and His way. Amen. 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 And we praise God for that. And, you know, that's what we're all about. We just want to know from God what He's saying in this day and time. So, therefore, you know we always have to go to our Bible. Because if you want to know the will and the way of Father God, Abba, our Daddy, we need to go to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. And also, as we pray to God, the Holy Spirit will drop things in our spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead and direct us into all truth. All truth. All truth. And how we know he's doing just that? Because it will always line up with the word of God. Yes. There's nothing new. The Bible is complete. Ah. Complete. Complete. So as long as everything lines up with the word of God, we're so thankful. Oh, so we're so yes, thankful for you today. Amen, Shirley. Amen. 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 You want to tell the, our beautiful audience anything before I get started? Well, you know, just the kind of what we call piggyback off of what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> is that this is life and death. Yes. Yeah. This is joy over sorrow. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is peace in the midst of turmoil. Thank you, This is joy in the midst of sadness. Everything we need. This is instruction. Yes, and we need it. direction. That's right. Everything we need is right here. Right here. It's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Because God is not short of his promises and who he is. So everything that we need that pertains to life yes. itself is right here in the book. In the book. That's good. Praise yeah. God. That's so good, Pastor Shirley. I love that because those that have been watching for a while, you know me by now. And you know everything in my life. I go through to the word of God. Amen. I just believe right. in the word of God. The power is in the word of God. It just right. gets me excited <laughs> about what's in the book. The bestseller. This is the bestseller. And I praise God for that. And as we start uh, ministry today, yeah, 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 I just want to say a little something else right along with what you're saying. For those of you that are watching today, you know, a lot of times, uh, Reminder, we struggle. We fight in, in our own selves and, and, and we have hurts and, and, and confusion. But a lot of us don't know how to really get the answer. And don't realize that this really is the answer. Because right. I know there were a few things in my growing up in the Lord, I kept thinking, well, how in the world reading this going to help me? Yes. Yeah. And then yes. a lot of people don't, we don't turn to that. But I'm telling you, if you, and you know what, just say, Lord, give me a word. Yeah. Give me a word. Yeah. And God will give you a word. He will. He'll give, he'll give you something. He will. And the other part is when he does give it to you, trust that. Yes. And grab hold to that. Because what will happen is, and I'm talking to somebody out here now, what will happen is, you ask God for a word, God will give it to you. Because I remember a few times. The situations with me, God gave me word, and, and I said to myself, well, that's not what I wanted to hear. I didn't want to hear his answer. Yes. And yet his answer was what I needed, but my flesh didn't allow me to receive that answer. And later on, I learned how to, like you now, we have that joy. It's like, ooh, what's the word? What's the word? It's like, yes, I got my word. But, be, but in that growing process, uh -huh. I remember that one time, and I'll just make this real quick. My ex-husband, and he we, he was doing something. I was trying to have my little romantic evening with him, you know, getting everything ready, fireplace lit, and all of that. And I looked up, and he walked out the door. I'm leaving. And I sat there, and I cried. I'm saying, but God, it looked like, why can't people just hear? Why can't they understand? All I have is just is all this love to give. Look like nobody understands it, and he don't either, and I'm just crying, and I'm a little hard at They say, I know the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. You know what he said? He said, now you know how I feel. Wow. Uh -huh. 
And he said it again, now you know how I yes, feel. Yes, yes. Well, in other words, people reject me. They, I'm, I have everything they need, but they won't receive it. Yes. You know? But at that moment, that's not what I wanted to hear from God. I wanted him to say, okay, sure, it's going to be all right. Or da, da, yeah, da, da. Yeah, and yeah. I wanted to hear this little empathetic whatever word, uh -huh. but that's not what he spoke to Right, me. right, exactly. And, and, you know, I totally agree. Um, when God gives us a word, yes, when we read the scriptures, it's not what we want to hear right, all the time. Exactly. However... What we're called to do <laughs> is be obedient to the word. That word. Trust, trust what God is saying. Trust what God is saying. Right. And be obedient to the exactly. word. Exactly. Whether I feel it or not, because all the time <laughs> this flesh is not going to agree. Agree. But with this. With this. But what I have to do, I have to say, but God is your word. God, I need to trust in your word. I don't feel like it. I don't want to. But God, help me line up with your word. Yes. And what I want to um, talk about today is healing. I just want to, not much, but I want to talk about healing because even though you all see me here, and I, and, and I do have the joy of the Lord, and I love his word. However, that doesn't negate the fact that my back has been bothering me this week here, my sisters and brothers. I've been having so much pain in my back this weekend. And I know some could say, well, you're going too much, you're doing too much. But okay, I haven't got that. I, I've been rested in between my engagements. Right trying to use wisdom, rest in between engagements before I do the next thing. But my back has been so painful, and I've been speaking to my back. Yes, I will talk to this flesh, because this flesh needs to line up with the Word of God. Yes, yes. And it always does not want to line up with the Word of God. And after I speak to my flesh, Yes, Shirley, I spoke to him. I know. I know. Then I start praising God for what he's going to do, mm -hmm. what he's doing now. Right. Okay, he's doing something now. And I, I, I believe that he never sleeps. He never slumbers. That's right. He watches over us all the days of our life. I believe that. So those of you today that have pain in your body, whether it's, thank you, Lord, whether it's, I was talking about physical pain, but God just dropped in my spirit emotional pain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, spiritual pain. Mm, come on now. Yes, All pain. I'm speaking to pain this day. I'm speaking to pain, and I'm coming against pain in our bodies. In the name of Jesus. Because I know some of this pain, Pastor yes. Shirley. Yes. I, yes. I feel it's it's trying to be or it's being um, a roadblock in our life. Mm -hmm. And keeping us from pressing toward the mark. Keeping us from doing what God has called us to do. You know, we have a mutual friend. That's in so much pain now, um, emotionally. Right, right. It goes into it could go into a a, a mental state, a, a, the mental arena, and uh, I'm talking about that pain too. Right, exactly. Some of that pain, no, not some. That pain will stop us exactly from moving forward. forward. Mm -hmm. This pain in my back is trying to stop me from doing what God has called me to do. So I feel that some of you listening today, you're experiencing some of that pain that you just don't want uh, because of the pain. Not, I'm not talking about your mind and your desire because pain in your body. 
you don't go to church or, or maybe you don't go to a prayer group or, or maybe you can't go to this event or that event or God have jobs for you or things for you to do. But because of the pain, it stops you in your tracks. It stops in your tracks. But I come against the enemy and the avenger of our soul because we can stop the enemy in his track. In the name of Jesus. Because the power that's invested in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I really believe that, Shirley. We can stop the enemy in his track. But I want to read this scripture. And you know to always have your pen and a piece of paper ready. Because <laughs> as we read scriptures, right. for us and for you, I want you to jot the scripture down. So when we go off the air or in your time, your own time, you can look up these scriptures and read of yourself. Meditate on the word of God. Ask God to have it become flesh of your flesh and bone of your bone. That's a part of you. So I'm going to turn to James, the book of James, the fifth chapter, a very well-known passage, but I think we need to review it today. Oh, man, I said, I need to review it. Hallelujah, Jesus. James, the fifth chapter, and I'm going to start at the 13th verse because we're talking about healing. At that 13th verse, it says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is any cheerful? Let him sing songs. Is anyone among you sick? My God. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. Can I read that again? And the prayer of faith. We just was talking about trusting in the word of God. We have to have faith in the word of God and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sin he will be forgiven why I read that scripture is for two reasons my sisters and brothers it said call for the elders of the church well, I don't want to always call for elders of the church. Come on now. I don't want to share everything with everybody. So a lot of us say. But the word says, call for the elders of the church, anointing him with oil. Then it says, pray. Pray. The prayer of faith. Hallelujah. So, surely what I'm saying is, we need to have people pray for us. We do. Mm -hmm. Agree with us in prayer, pray for us. We do need people to anoint us. Also, we need to be in a place where uh, as the, we need to be, well, can I say careful? Or may I say, um, know who to call. Okay. Know that we see people's lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We watch how people walk and talk. In other words, their lifestyle. So what I'm saying, and I'm tiptoeing around this, but let me come on out and say it. I'm going to call for the people, I see their lifestyle. I see what they're about. Now, I'm not saying they have arrived, because none of us have arrived. But I see their lifestyle. I see how they love the Lord. The spirit bears witness to the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm calling that elder. I'm calling that person. To pray for me, right, and right. agree with me in prayer, because we, as Mama used to say, I need someone to get a prayer through. Exactly. If I know you're full of the devil, you're in church. I'm being real here, my sisters and brothers. You're in church, but you're full of the devil. You, you very negative. Mm -hmm. Your lifestyle is questionable. I'm not calling you. <laughs> well, no, no. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. I need to go. So th these scriptures here, it's just like a part of the foundation. 
when we hurt it in our bodies, we hurt it in our minds, we hurt it emotionally, we have some kind of thorn in our flesh, like Paul did. But I want people to pray over me. Amen. So I'm just reading this right now as a foundation. Right, right. Amen. Amen. We need one another. We do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I love this passage so much. And let me just, I'm just compelled to go on a little before I see what Shirley has to say. But the 16th verse says, and I love this. Confess your trespasses. The King James, that's what I was getting ready to quote. Confess uh, your faults. faults. That's why I was trying to say that and do that. Confess, I grew up on that. Confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person availeth much. That's what I know and that's what I grew up on. So even in our healing process, I ask God, God help me confess whatever is contrary to your will and your way to my sister or my brother so they can pray over me. I want to be healed. So we need, and that's also keeping our vessel clean. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right. But if I have all these faults, I'm keeping to myself. Right. And, like, I don't want you to know, but I'm keeping these thoughts to myself. <laughs> My temple is not being cleansed. So we really do need to confess our faults one to another and pray for one another. So this is another avenue. At first, we said uh, call for the elders, anointing with oil. Now we saying confess our faults one to another. Pray for one another that we may mm -hmm. be healed. This is a good foundation for me. What you think? Well, you know, I'm, I'm like you, and I, I go all the way back up to 13. Uh-huh. And then we, because it said, is any of you afflicted? Any of you, did it say suffering? Yes, it's suffering. Well, see, <laughs> we have to get what the reality of this word is. Mm -mm -mm. Come on now. Because too many times we jump down to, I'm going to call the elders because I'm sick. But the Bible said, if I'm suffering and I'm a fix, I'm supposed to pray right. myself. That's right. I don't have to call uh -huh. nobody for that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so we have to learn what state we're in and what we need to do. At because that moment. At, at that, that moment, moment uh -huh. we need to know, okay, what is suffering uh -huh. and what is affliction? That's that thing that, that's a soulish thing. Uh-huh. And that's not, and, and if we don't watch it, that will turn into physical. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But. At this point, I need to learn how to see saints. You need to know how to tell the devil he got to go yourself. You don't have to, you, because I'm telling you, there's going to come a time when you don't even have a church to go to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the way the state of the world is going. Mm -hmm. But we have to know our God for ourselves. And mm -hmm. when we are suffering, we have to learn how to stand on that word, that friend we're talking about. She's going through affliction. And I, would, I used to tell her all the time, I said, you know what? You have to learn how to walk in power. Learn how to walk in healing. Because some of the things that if all of, if different ones of us will even look at our own lives, some of the things we're going through, uh -huh. we've been going through them for years. It's not something new. Right, right. And that means it is an affliction. It's something that has tried to set itself up on your body, on your mind. And now it's, it's a tormenting thing. But you have to learn how to stand on that word and learn that the word of God, you can pray. Know in the name of Jesus, I bind this. Just like Ben Wanda was saying, she had that pain in her back. She spoke to it. She's been afflicted by the enemy, and so therefore she's taking that word and, and con yes. Satan, you get out of here. Yes. I do not accept to receive this. And we have that kind of authority. Yes. We yes. have that right to do that. Oh, and God yeah. said, you pray. Thank you, Jesus. So learn how to pray. Learn how to cast these things out and off of you. And then sickness, yes. The elders can come, lay hands, and those sickness and diseases will leave. Yes, yes, yes. And then the other part is like you were saying, but if you notice there's more than one way of this affliction, because when we went on down here, it said confess your faults one to another. That's enough. 
That's right. That's because right. I'm going to tell you, some of the sickness we have, some of the things that mankind is suffering is because of the things that are in our hearts that we haven't dealt with. Right. And see, I should be able to come to talk to Wanda about anything. I should be able to tell her, you know what, I sinned today. Uh -huh. Or you know what, I feel so bad, cause, but I lied today. Uh -huh. I should be able to come to her and say those things, which will free me because then the enemy can't. See, you know what, when you just use the word lying. Okay. When you've lied and you don't say anything to anybody, uh -huh. that lie can punish you. Yes. That lie can haunt you. Yes. That lie can make you sick because then yes. you're wondering, first of all, who's looking at me? Who knows about it? Will they ever find out? I'm going to get in trouble. What kind of trouble would I be in if they do find out? And the enemy's just piling it up, yeah. piling it up, piling it up. What's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. And we're uh -huh. saying nothing, but now all of a sudden we can feel some pressure in our heart and think we're having a heart attack. Mm. And with that being said, now it's time. We can pray for you. But now, turn where you are over Hallelujah. to the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. You want to do something before we... That. I'm gonna close out with I'm gonna close out with two passages. Okay. Okay. I'm so, have you so pray. Father God, we praise and Hallelujah. thank you right now. Lord, we know that you are God Jesus. Almighty. Beside you, there is no mm -hmm. other. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you that when you Jesus died on that cross and He rose again from the dead. Hallelujah. He took all of the sickness. He took <laughs> all of the pain. Mm. He took all of the stress Ooh. and the worry. He took it all with Him. Mm. When he went down into the depths of the earth and he came back free, mm -hmm. when he rose from the dead, all of our sickness and diseases were buried underground, no more to rise. But Father God, I pray for my sisters and brothers today. Hallelujah. That their minds be changed. Renew their minds Ooh. today, God, Ooh, to understand, understand their word, to understand this understand word, God. It. Understand who you are in the Hallelujah. power of their lives, Lord. That oh, they to starting today God. will walk in the power and authority oh. of who they are in you, yes. God. Because yes. you see, it says God is your power. Yeah. You don't have anything outside of God. Yes. But in Him you have everything. In Him oh. you have life. In Him oh, you yeah. have joy. In Him you have peace. Thank and healing is all a part of it. Oh, because when you can begin to laugh, God. sickness has to go. You see, because sickness and disease. You don't have no right or authority here anyway. Mm, mm, mm. And the only reason we know you're manifesting is because the people don't know that they have a right to be free from you. Yes. But today, yes. I'm declaring yes. that the people that are in the sound of our voice will stand up today and say, yes. no more. Stand up and yes. say, I am free. I'm going to rejoice no matter yes. what comes. Oh, and I guarantee, Saint, as you enter into that place in God, all this other stuff will cease. Because even if it takes a doctor to get the answer, God will fix it. Mm, even if it takes somebody else to get an answer, God has it already planned and fixed. Even if it takes you just trusting and believing, God has it already fixed. No matter what the course that he determines, just like with me, I had to go ahead an operation, but guess what? I'm free. And my body catching up where Shirley is. Jesus. Is your body catching up with where you are? Or where are you? Or where is your body? Where are you so that your body has a place to go? If you're not in the spirit of God, your body only has sickness and disease to go to. So now get free. And walk in your freedom today. Yes. We declare your freedom today. Yes, hallelujah. Freedom today. And now rejoice. Mm. Rejoice. Because this is the will of God concerning you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise God and praise thank God. you. Thank Hallelujah. the Lord for what you're doing. And you know what, saints mm -hmm. and people of God, for those of you who are watching and know some other friends, let them know that they can watch us on Pastor Let's Talk on Sundays at 7 p.m. at AT&T U-verse Channel 99, Vallejo Network. And then you can do past, past uh, shows, yeah, past shows. Uh -huh. on DrakeEntertainmentManagement.com. Yes, yes. And, and you can email us. That's right. You can also email us at Pastor Let's Talk One, one. at Yahoo.com. Pastor Let's Talk One, one. at Yahoo.com. 
we will really appreciate hearing from you. Yeah. And as we close out, I'm going to read you this passage. Write it down. Psalm 103, starting at the first verse. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Yes. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities. Who heals, hallelujah, who heals all your diseases. Yes. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that so that your youth is renewed like the eagles <laughs> hallelujah yes, we blessing yes, god yes. Lord. and i want hallelujah. you to bless god where you are we serve a mighty god. god we serve a good god we serve a loving god and we thank god for this time right now with you so my sisters and brothers we love you so much yes we do get in touch with us if you can we would love to hear from you. Yes. So until next time, we are saying, see you later. Amen. Amen. Amen and, and amen. amen. Walk in the victory that is already yours. And in peace. God bless. This has been a Drake Television Studios presentation.